Hey guys, welcome to thirdsstore.com. I am Ripon Dutto. Um, from today, I am going to start a series of tutorial on object-oriented programming using c -Sure. This is the first tutorial. In the next couple of tutorials, I will show you the object-oriented programming using c -Sure. So let's get started. Object-oriented programming concepts. What is OOP? OOP is a design pattern. It stands for object oriented programming. There are several programming languages which uses OOP. In object oriented programming languages, everything is considered as self sustainable. That's why objects are reusable. Okay, so what is an object? An object is anything which can perform some relative activities. This activity defines the object's behavior. All objects have two characteristics, these are state and behavior. For example, bicycles have state like current gear, pedal, wheels and number of gears. And behavior, accelerating, braking, slowing down, changing gears. Alright. So this is an example of an object which is a rectangle which has width, height and fill color. Now what is class? A class is a logical representation of an object or you can say class is a blueprint of an object that means a class provides a blueprint or outline of an object. Now I will show you a, a class structure. Access a specifier. I will discuss about this later. Then class keyword, then followed by class name. And then member variables using access a specifier, then data type, and followed by variable name. And you can add methods access a specifier, then return type, then method name. And if you have any parameter, it can be one or more parameter, then you can put in the parameter list. Then there is a method body. So this is basically a class structure. Alright, this is the first tutorial. In the next tutorials, I will show you the details on object-oriented programming and c -Sure. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and you can like this tutorial or if you have any comment, please do comment in the comment box and thank you.